You have had to talk yourself into almost every date and guy you have slept with for the past few years. And if you're one of those guys watching this video and thinking, Hey, wait a minute, it's not about you. Calm down. Anyway, you either had to drink yourself into it or think yourself into it. Most women can relate to this. You meet someone online or in real life and they are persistent but you're resistant and eventually you have to start a text thread with the council, your friends, to see if he is worth your pH balance being disrupted or your time being wasted. The council will always request to see a photo, and it takes you forever to find one of your gentleman suitor where they look good enough for you to see them through the eyes of the people that really love you and have your best interests in mind. You often have to make a million disclaimers like, I can't find a recent one, or their hair is different now, or this crowd favorite, oh, they look better in person. And then the council will study the photo and politely say something like, he looks like he's nice, which is uh, your yellow light to proceed with caution. Eventually, you talk yourself into this ridiculous person you were too embarrassed to even present to the council, and without failure, they immediately fuck right the fuck off the second you start to match their energy and like them in the way they were liking you enough to get you to sleep with them. The even funnier spin on this predictable narrative is that there are actually men out there worried about women's body counts, but they have such a blind spot on all the ways they contribute to those numbers. Maybe those body counts would be a little lower if the men in question stuck around and formed a deep and meaningful connection with women instead of just leading them on to get laid. Despite this being the norm, you are always surprised by your stupidity in caving in and their predictability in ghosting out. Weirdly, the only one that has stuck around in your life with any persistency and frequency is the one that is the most unavailable of them all. The big boss of unavailability. You never go on dates, you don't really do anything outside of your bedroom, you always get in fights, but if you need something non-relationship related, that man shows up in surprising ways. A champion when it comes to acts of service, but not someone you want around if you need your ego stroked. You consider him a good but complicated friend at this point, and you appreciate his longevity and how he's just as committed to this bit as you are. But you'll admit that you desire romance, and the past three years have made you very cynical. You deleted all of your dating apps a few months ago and decided if you were going to really waste your time on someone, it would have to happen organically and in the wild or it's just not meant to be. Lately you are thinking that maybe it's not. And that's fine. You have enough ghosts in your phone and want to spend more time with the living and the loving. Yeah.